Yeah, readings people, how's it going? Some random person here in a new apartment. Today we're gonna take a closer look at Pionex again. I made a video about a year and a half ago about one of their trading bots so you can automate your trading strategy. And now with AI and the combination of everything, we have Pionex GPT. ChatGPT, you've got your AI assistant, you can ask anything, you can ask the software to create anything you want, especially code, and they do exactly that. So I thought it might be smart, because they combine everything, to make a video about explaining how I can make your own strategy, how I can backtest that, kind of, because that's pretty difficult, or at least a little more complicated than I expected, and then also how I can just follow other people's strategy, set that up, and be done. Why do we do that? Fairly simple. If you trust yourself with trading, you don't have to. If you don't trust yourself with trading because you're emotional or you have a good feeling, a bad feeling one day or another, you might mess up your own strategy. You don't want to put stones in front of your own way. That way you would just block the way, it doesn't work that well. So the best thing is you create something that you think or that somebody else that you trust thinks is going to be working long term well for you and you just automate that. Done. There is no extra mental capacity used in thinking, should I buy, should I sell, should I, should I do any of that? You just set it up once, let it run, go. So I'll show you two things. First of all, if you haven't signed up to Pionex, just sign up, link is down below. And then, if you're on the main page up here, you will see, if you hover over more, that there's a drop-down menu. At the very bottom it says Pionex GPT, under Tutorials, which will then open this part over here the English chat. There are two different things. We get Pionex GPT, so you can create your own thing, and we get the GPT Marketplace, which is other people's strategies. I would highly recommend just follow other people's strategies, because they put in the time effort, and you can see what the possible return on investment with a one year is for different strategies, but you can also play around and do your own. Let's say we start with this one fresh. We just refresh the page, start at zero. Here's how it looks like. We can ask, give me a grid strategy, DCA. I want a trailing stop strategy, a bunch of words we never heard before. So let's say we want to dollar cost average DCA as a strategy. You can just press the button and it gives you the entire code. It gives you the code for one reason. And that is to have a button over here that says copy and backtest on trading view. When it comes to that, it's supposed to automatically set everything up because I tried to play around with this before I already created the DCA strategy and sometimes, as I notice based on the browser that you use, the whole copy and backtest immediately doesn't quite work. You can copy it, but in case it doesn't set things up automatically, let me show you what you would need to do. If it looks like this, as I use a different browser right now to showcase what I mean, here's what you gotta do. We go back on the Pionex and in this window where you can scroll up, in the top right it has a copy button. Now if we head back to trading view, you have a couple things in the bottom left corner. Click on Pine Editor. It will open up any source code that you can put in. So like a script editor. You copy paste, that we just copied. It will underline a couple things here and there. But once we have that, we click on Add to Chart. Then you have to sign in. Let's say you use your Google account for that. We can save our script. Let's say we call it DCA. Hit Save. And then we have the strategy tester next to it, where you can load your own script. It goes to technicals automatically, but you can load your own script. Let's say DCA, click on that, it's selected. In the top left corner, you can select what you like. I already set everything up. I use Bitcoin futures, just so we have crypto instead of stocks as an overview. And then you can see in the time frame that you select with all the different buttons that you can select. And I mean, there's a whole lot that you can select. For example, just for settings, we have initial capital, how much you want to put in. What currency? What is the order size? How many triangles do you want? You have so much that I would generally say, unless you're experienced with trading views, charts and all that, which I admit, I'm not really, I would rather recommend to just simply go with GPT Marketplace. But if you know what all of this does, then you can just ask AI and tweak that so it does exactly what you want it to do. And then after you do that, you can also backtest things and I can genuinely tell you, I talked with this bot for like 15 minutes and I was like, okay, where's this button? What to do next? How do, how do I click different buttons? And unless you've been doing this for a long time, it doesn't come intuitive. That's what I would say. So let's make the main focus of this video that this one does exist. You can see the different steps on the left side, like backtest on trading view. 
I don't know how to how to do that. I don't see it. Let's make the GPT marketplace happen instead, because that's so much easier to explain, and probably what 99.9% .9 of us do anyways. If we were to go with the Pinex GPT future, just to so you know, this one exists. But let's go with the GPT marketplace. In here, you can see different published strategies from other people, which you can then use for your own account. Let's say we have Quick Fingers Luke's DCA bot, the first one that shows up. If you click on that, for one year ROI of 15%, it will show you an overview where the backtest has been done. So you can see the backtest within 30 days, what you can expect, 90 days, 180 and one year. When it comes to that, it gives you a short intro so you can see what it does. The best thing is, if you don't know how to do any of the other stuff that we just tried to throw together, this one does it for you. And you can go with any strategy you like, for example, trade with the market strength or IntelliBot SMC, 1000%. Sounds like a lot at 10.6x. And here you would see, on a 30-day strategy, 87% yield. Designed for the new Pinex Signals bot, initially bought SMC strategy utilizes both long and short trading directions. Interesting. So it tells you what, it, what it's about. Now what's the next step? You'd hit subscribe. Let's say we like this bot, right? Coin to invest. What do we have? I have like $100 in the account to play around with. Let's just say, for the sake of the video, and a future video I will make as an update, let's use $100. Select the leverage, 1x, 2x, 3x. I'm not too sure how much leverage I can select, and considering that it is a normal bot, is on the site, and they only have $100 available anyways, I won't touch leverage. I make this as beginner friendly as possible, as simply as it gets. We have $100. We have a strategy that we think looks good based on the percentages and then after we subscribe put on $100 and start copying. Now I will let you know before I hit on OK, obviously don't just do that, you read about everything. This is more like a what buttons to click and how to do this type of video than here is why this one is the best one. It's not safe to trade without Google Authenticator, please enable right now. I just signed up, used my phone number, eh. no. Continue, done. If you sign up, obviously, add the Google Authenticator, which you have to install, and then add that to your phone. In my case, it's on my other phone, so let me do that real quick. Okay, done that, and I get thrown back to the main page, which means I click on more, click on Panex GPT, click on GPT Marketplace, that's the strategy. We should be subscribed to it. We have OP, we put in $100, start copying, okay, and done. See, simple. Once you have everything set up, this takes like 10 seconds. On this window now we can see over time how much you win, how much you lose. And I can tell you, for example, I used to have my trading bots set up about a year and a half ago. And I didn't touch them, I just let them run in the meantime. If the entire market goes down, obviously your investment and the bots that you have set up, as well as the strategy you have, also goes down. There's nothing that you can do when something used to be at 60k and then it goes to 20k, there's not anything outside of shorting the market that it can do to make money there. As long as you have something set up and the market goes down, you lose. If it goes up, you make money, but that's just natural. Still, compared to just investing and doing nothing, the bot performed better than just the market itself. So if you ever thought about doing that, and you like AI, which I guess most of us do, because of the potential that it has, this might be something worth looking into as well. That being said again, when I tried the whole GPT thing, doing my own strategy. This is far too complicated for any normal user and the copy and backtest option, there's no backtest that happens because the site just, I don't know, it, it doesn't connect it directly. You can see again, when I click on that, it will just open the exact same strategy that I tried to set up before with a couple triangles, but then when it comes to the performance summary down here, it doesn't show you the numbers. But if you're experienced with that more, you know what to do, you know what to click on, the important thing is, if you have a strategy that you might find over here that you think works well, maybe test it out, maybe not. I can just show you what is available and maybe just maybe it's something for you as well. That being said, let me know if you have any questions. I personally have a couple. And once I read more about how to set up everything in TradingView, I guess I can make a more detailed guide on the whole setting up your own bot with parameters, properties and so on once that is done. Until next time, have a good rest of your day and take care.